everybody, Kelly Sue from Cleopatra Art Studios. We are painting a gnome porch leaner. Oh my gosh, I forgot the project over here. And the dog needs a scoot. Oops. Oops. All right. Honestly, I haven't been sipping. Okay, super cute. Super cute. Where am I gonna put all these pieces? Right there. Ta-da. All right, so I hope you're having a happy, happy, New Year's Eve, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we're gonna go ahead and paint this guy. Let me flip the camera so you guys can see it. Let me make sure. Can you see it? Yep, hello spring with an echinacea. <coughs> I love it. So sorry, I still have a little bit of that crud. So with this particular design, the negative space is important. So I'm going with a darker board. Oops, a little bit darker board. So I have mixed brown with black and some silver. Give it a little shimmy, shimmy look. So when you get on, let me know that you're here. Tell me, are, what are we doing for New Year's Eve? So you can see, you can thin your paint down pretty good. You could even use a stain if you wanted to. It just takes a little while to dry. I feel like I could go a lot more watery there. There we go. So lots of different ways you can do this. What I love about this project is you have a back to add another design. So John just got back from the store getting our fixins for tonight. I don't know if I ever told you this about John, but he is a blue haired silver tongued devil. What do I mean by that? If they, if I don't know where he's at, I just look for the oldest lady in the room and he's over there talking to her. And uh, so the lady down at Safeway threw a little extra in his crab, crab order today. It was great. So you can paint your back forever, get it just the way you want, cover up the knots, and the um, wood graining, or not, <gasps> pun intended, ha ha ha, or not. I always forget to paint my sides until I put it out on my porch and then I'm like, oh my gosh. It's supposed to look a little rustic. It's not a perfect art. It's just something that's gonna bring joy to your front porch, make you, you know, give you like a happy home. People are not gonna enter your house in a bad mood once they see this fella. Look how cute he is. So cute. And I, I adore the echinacea. So right away I can see on this side, I really water down the paint versus that side. So you can paint it and then wipe it off if you really love the green to show through. Um, I typically don't paint them like a fence you know, like heavy, heavy paint, typically. I am very rustic, I'm a farmhouse girl from the farm. <laughs> and uh, give me a thumbs up if you know what I mean. Are you a, far a farmhouse girl from the farm? And I like to see the knots. I'm a naughty girl, another pun. Ooh, those are bad today, bad puns today. Um, so I like to see the grain I want to see it all. I'm not going to paint it just black, though you could, and that would be your style. I have a paint party coming up out in Spangle at the Harvester on the 10th, and so one of the ladies wants to paint this, and I just wanted to get painted, make sure we have all the bugs worked out. before, you know, before she got it. Give her a tutorial to watch. And honestly, I just want him. I want this guy on my porch, making everybody happy when they walk in. Right now I have my snowman. On one side I have the Grinch, and on the other side I have my snowman, and you guys have seen that video. So I was a little surprised yesterday when I came home and the Grinch was flipped around to the snowman. So I think John's done with the holidays. 
I think he's getting through tonight. He's not grumpy at all. That's not his MO, but all of a sudden I'll come in and all the Christmas decorations will be put away. So it's just brown, nothing too exciting. I did not make enough paint. And then, so I'm gonna grab some more really quick. And then just to let you know, the studio, we're painting the floor right now because we're not ready to put a, to find, I haven't found the right flooring yet. So we just wanted a little bit different look. And John's made me some, what do you call it? Like shelves for my paint, including my little paint. So I'll definitely show you, oh, of course painted that teal. I'll definitely show you what it looks like when we get it up. Get it up and running. Oops, this might be darker. That's okay. It's okay. It might be blacker. Is that a word, blacker? That's okay. It's just paint. We're going to figure it out. You see how it looks. It is a little darker. So I didn't put as much brown. Okay. It smells fabulous. John's cooking a little bake on. Yeah, that's really dark right there, huh, guys? It's shimmery, but it's dark. Just gonna bring this bottle over. Getting my steps in. So let me turn on the computer, see if you guys have any questions whatsoever. How tall is this? It is 60 inches. So when you get the board from, hey, so Louise likes farmhouse, I do too. When you guys get the board from Home Depot, your choice is, so how high is this? Um, like 40 some inches and then 60 inches, right? Nope, that's not right. 72, so six feet. So we cut these down. So we go ahead and get the big one because the small one's just not gonna work. You need the bigger one. And then you have a piece of wood left over and that's what you'd use for your charcuterie board. So I just painted one with you guys the other day ago and we'll definitely get a um, Valentine one going here very soon. Cause you got the front, you got the back. I really think you should use all the pieces. And how much does the board cost? Now you might have a board laying around the house. Go ahead and use that. Or, um, it's around $22, I think. 16 to 22, it depends if the Home Depot, the big box store is having a sale or not. Most likely not, you know what I mean? Speaking of sales, today is the last day that our Blizzard sale is going on online, so you could get the, um, you could use it on the no if you wanted to. It's 20% off. We extended it. People were begging, please, 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 please. And I said, why not? We have control. We're not a big box store. We have control. Um, so I went ahead and just left it in there, but tomorrow it goes off. good I will paint around the sides a different time you could come in here and do like streaks make it super sexy the way you want it and it's okay I'm gonna just put it over over here to dry oh yeah that seems about right I just saw something I touch it up while I have the paint I love the little shimmer that the silver added that's right up my alley. Okay, putting this away. And then, I know this is where I had to get up high so you guys could see. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so 
here are the pieces. The presentation's not that lovely. Thank you, John. And we're gonna just do the tape trick, right? Yay, I have it. I'm gonna pop this out of the way. Some people use um, cardboard and put the tape upside down. That's fine, you can keep it all together. I just find it's just easy for me to keep all the known parts on the sticks. So the Echinacea, which is a flower. Okay, if you're never sure which direction it is that it goes, do you guys see the little bit of burn marks there? It's called flashback. It's where, so that's on the wrong side. It's where the laser hits the metal um, honeycomb and flashes back this better on this one and, and burns the underside. But the, the front should be clean, or mostly clean. So that's how you know which side you should paint. And sometimes we just screw up anyway, right? Okay, Echinacea, all the petals, and the little, so that's what this will look like if you're just joining in, that little echinacea. Now, we made a, an improvement, I think. So there's this butterfly. So the butterfly has no engraving. It's kind of uh, boring. So we have decided these are pretty popular, so we're doing away with the butterfly and putting in a giant bee. I'll show you in a second. And that's why we like to paint a lot of our projects ahead of time to work out the snags and see what we like and what we don't like. Like, there's nothing to like about that. Hold on. Oh, that was right. Nothing to like about that butterfly. It could have been cute, but there's no lines. Gosh, this font's fun. Spring. Nice and chunky, I love this font. Hello, spring. I just put everything into manageable strips. Now, in his legs, there is gonna be a tiny little piece. I know, I tried to do away with it, but it didn't work. So this tiny, this blue piece right here is a tiny, tiny little piece of wood. I will have that glue dotted or something. Doom. Keep them in order so you know which, how to, how to paint them. Keep it in order, keep them in order. Hit the right side. That one's kind of hard to tell. Okay, it goes like this. And then the little guy. Little guy. Okay, that's one leg. When I placed him on my board last night and took a photo and showed you all, there's a post and it showed you all, um, I made him bow-legged. <laughs> it's a cowboy. Okay, his boots are super cute, super cute. Okay, and then here is the beat, and then that's pretty much, oh, let's put the nose on there too. Here we go. It just takes you a second to get organized. Um, as you get more advanced, you can organize them, and everything on this strip is gonna be white, and then you just quickly go across. So here's our beat that we decided on. And here's, it has wings, removable wings. The bee is the number one reason why I didn't go black on my board because I wanted him to show. Just, I just wanted him to show. Okay, now make sure you have the right side or they won't go in the holes. That's it. Boom. Now we can just get to painting and it should be pretty quick. I'm only gonna put one coat on myself, but then you can put as many coats on as you want. I'm seeing teal in my future. I'm seeing um, a purplish pink echinacea. There's white echinaceas too. Um, give me a thumbs up if you know what an echinacea is. Hey, Kathy, I know you love this. I saw your last message and Jillian's here. Hello, Jillian. Um, I just didn't get back to you, Kathy, because I had a video conference with um, a doctor. So it just, just, it just took a few minutes. Do I really not have very much of this? Ooh, that's rough. 
puff up that's rough all over. Um, I made some sea, I call it sea glass. That's a kind of pretty, pretty color. Why not have, boo. So I can make my own teal. Who burns out a teal? Um, with, oh, you know what, I got a metallic. Mm, I don't love it. I digress. This is me when I haven't eaten. I get kind of, kind of spacey. Okay, so I have some phthalo green. It's an artist paint. I know it's super see-through. I know, but the pigment is gorgeous. But typically I use peacock teal from Deco Art. Typically. That's really dark. Here it is. Um, and I just don't know where everything is since John is putting in my new shelves today. And you do know what color I painted them. You know. Let's see what I work with. end up with here. My hair is laying weird. Nobody said anything. Wow. The light's hitting it just so. That is not. That's okay. You know, I truly believe that if I lost my hair, you guys would still be okay with it. You're the best. All right, here we go. Make it a turquoise. You can add white if you want to, but I don't like how it makes it pastel-y. So I'll probably add silver. If I added gold, it would get bright. So he's definitely gonna need a name. You know what I mean? See how it's lightening up, but it's not getting pastel-y. So I have more green than blue in there. You could fix it if you wanted to. So what name should he be? I might add a little bit of this, like, Seriously, the paint gods are against me today. Oh well, if it gets too bad, we'll just have a Jackson Pollock looking fella. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some. I know it'll pastel it out a little bit. Oh, that looks like Bahama Blue, which is one of my favorites. That was so easy. You guys see that? So easy. Okay, giddy up. If I find it's too dark against my board, remember my board is over there drying and it's a dark silvery brown. If it's too dark, there are some things I can do. This could be a base coat. I can come in a little lighter. I can raise the edge with um, some dots, things to contrast. I'm just using a one inch paintbrush. It's a flat, it's got soft bristles. This would be perfect for my Martha Stewart sponge. But they have seen better days. And they're, Martha's just not getting back to me. Martha, why? Maybe I need to reach out to Snoop Dogg and say, can, can you nudge Martha for me? Yep, I love those sponges. And you keep your hands clean. So anybody have a name we should name him? Now just keep in mind I don't see all the comments right now, so if you have made a suggestion already, it's okay. And I know it's kind of tinny in here. It's because we don't have any carpet right now. So here we go. So I'm gonna walk them over. I'm gonna walk it over. It's gonna go right on here. Drop it just a little bit. So I think it'll be a good contrast. Now you can go as white, as bright white as you want. So I did not, you don't have to paint around it if you want. I typically would match the brown. Learned that from Colleen. I don't know if she's watching today or not, but I learned that from her. <coughs> Excuse me. Boom. Okay, so next we got the beard. The photo shows a very white beard, and you can paint yours white. White, gray, knock yourself out. I like 
to make it hairy, to make it look hairy. Sometimes you have these, this little snag, and what, what's going on there, why you can't pull it off, is because it's right where like reinforcement fiber is, so that could be like a feather or whatever. So I'm just gonna go in, hmm, maybe. I'm just gonna take it off. Because one of his legs has to go right in there. There we go. I don't know if I'm making it better or worse. There we go, it's off. You know, I, I love the sanding blocks until they don't get in where you need them. There we go. So I guess I'm gonna just clean my paintbrush really quick. I have three million of these one inch brushes, but of course they are packed away. Just know that if you ordered something, we did not ship this week because we were cleaning the laser we were making projects for next year, working on the studio. We went to visit my mom and dad. So vacation, vacation, however you wanna call it. Okay, I'm not gonna use it. So I am gonna find another one super fast and I do have a whole bag of them. This is how I roll. I just have a whole bag of them. ones are three quarter though. <coughs> Not very good at measuring. Okay, I'm gonna paint it gray. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna add some texture. If I can find my small paintbrush, I'll do it with that. But I'll show you a couple different options. You can even use a stiff fan brush. Here it is, here's a texture brush. But I like to do it wet on wet. So let me get rid of that plate for a second. I'm gonna use some white, I'm gonna use some black, and then shade the gray. I have gray right there, here we go. And Mr. John was like, can't I have one more day before you do a live, before I have paint on the floor? <laughs> and maybe, maybe you're like me. I don't wanna say a messy painter, but let's face it, kind of a messy painter. Here we go. And normally my table's at the back. All right. So I have a really light gray. It's a good base coat. I'm gonna just get in there and cover him up. So the kits are easy. They're typically self-explanatory, like you paint, you glue, follow along to the photo or don't. But with some of the projects, I really try to have a corresponding video. Just if I feel like, you know, there was a, you know, like a challenging portion to this project. And some of you guys will rearrange these if you're just joining, this is what we're painting. You'll put like the Hello Spring up top and put Merv or whatever we're calling him on the bottom. It's okay. Just line it up first, which I did last night. That's when I discovered he was bow-legged on my version. Took my photo for me to see that. So, yeah, John always gives me the one with the nick or something that went wrong. You can't really see it. So typically, you know, these crafty kits or artsy kits, we want them to make you happy, bring a little joy in your life, add some joy to your front door with the door hangers and or the porch leaners. Welcome people in, let them know who you are, who's living here. I'm a gnome lover and I love echinaceas. Or, I don't know, what are some of the other topics you would like for a porch leaner? Now we do have generic winter, spring, fall, blah. But don't ask for NASCAR, they're very proprietary. And I wouldn't really know how to do that one anyway. <laughs> but um, give me some ideas. What are some other door hangers that you think, besides seasonal, that you think would be great? Something that would represent you. Maybe you're equestrian. 
Maybe you're a wine drinker and it's a giant. I mean, I don't know if you want to announce that to everyone. I'm not judging, but there are lots of judgy people. I just painted it light gray. I made the gray myself. It's white with a dot or two of black. Now, while that's wet, I'm going to go in and put some streaks. This is a rake brush, but oh my gosh, if you just have a favorite um, flat brush that has seen some days, here we go, something like this, it's seen some days, keep it around for just this type of technique. A stiff fan brush will work, and then I like a small, smallish detail brush, and it's, I'm not using a fancy one. Okay, so I'm going to go in with black. So I'm just loading it. It's not gloopy. You can still see each of the tines, tins, however we're gonna say, of the right brush. I like to do some from the bottom and some from the top. If you get a glob, hold on a second, I feel like you're probably not seeing. If you get a glob like this, it's okay. This is our first pass. Hold on a second. I think I can do better for you guys getting you closer to the subject matter at hand. My gray is starting to dry, so I'm gonna move kind of quick. So I like to go down, I like to go up, give it a little wavy, wavy action. If the gray is dry, I'm just gonna pick up gray on my paintbrush instead of white. or black, excuse me, this is black. Eat breakfast, people. Just kind of putting in these soft, and they're soft right now because it's mixing with the gray um, <coughs> brush strokes. Okay, I said I'd show you a couple other brushes. So here is a fan brush. I would use it more as a, I don't love it. I don't love this technique. Me and Bob, he gets it, I don't. Um, so the back should be really wet and it's not. So to me, it I didn't do too bad as I'm sitting there complaining. It didn't do too bad. So, but the soft fan brushes do not work. As soon as you get them wet, they look, I don't know, they look weird. They're all bunched up. And these are stiff and they're separated. So I really didn't do that much. I just went in, had a little fun. Here's that other paintbrush I told you about. So I'm gonna put a little on, take a little off. It's just a stiff one. My gray is not wet anymore. So I'm just gonna come in, separate these sections really quick. fun. You see how I'm just kind of saying, oh, that's a section. It's going to curve down there. I turned this on its side. You can hear it scraping too. Here, let's go backwards. And then if it's too dark, I like to take my finger and just blend it in. So I like to do it with a couple of them. And if you feel like, oh man, I just made a mistake, it's okay. Just keep at it. Just keep adding your streaks. If at any time your paint's getting sticky and it's picking up paint, hit it with the blow dryer, guys. So let me just bring that a little closer. Super simple, wasn't hard. I'll probably come in with, let me show you now, with some singular pieces. show you singular pieces so don't forget when um, if you order this this will be uploaded to our YouTube channel and you can just do a search Ew, don't like that for gnome I don't know do I like that that's pretty pretty blaring so just let me go in with my rake brush and just just smooth it out a little bit 
So um, I digress, but the, but the video will be available for you to view in our YouTube channel um, as a resource for you to help you with your knife. Okay, feet. My feet in my photo are the same color as his hat. Let's just stick with that. That's a pretty good motif. We're gonna stick with that. Um, black would be good, but <laughs> I'm looking at the part. The light's hitting and it makes it look bright white. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, here we go. Going in. I'm just gonna paint it just easier. Give me a little different in color. Hey Sherry, how you doing? Yeah, it's it's for those gnome lovers. And we haven't talked enough to know if you're a gnome lover or not. So Sherry, you have come to parties at Ponderosa, which will be back there in February, but we don't offer our large porch leaners at Ponderosa just because I think you saw space is very limited. The perfect take home project or, you know, join us at Spangle or the Fox, the Fox Hole in Medical Week. Super easy. Get as fancy with those feet as you want. Here's his nose. I'm going in with some brown. Typically, um, I say paint the same color as the family members, the same skin as your family members. Not hard, right? Sure. I'm looking for my cream, my buttermilk that I've changed up a little bit. But, oh, here it is. And I'm going to add a little brown to it. My paint is always... Okay, we're taking the lid off. So I have changed... Oops, that is a lot. So we might have to use that color somewhere else. <laughs> so it's buttermilk, but I did, I did add a little bit of color to it. The wood will need two coats for your gnome, for the, the nose, typically because the wood grain will show through. All right, moving on. That's the B. Might as well do the B. So the B, we're going to do mostly black and, of course, some yellow. Super easy. Now I want to I want to let you know we do etch we did etch the um, the sections that will be yellow because they were being lost they're so small so they are etched now so let me know are you a bee lover so you get bees and gnomes with this one I know it shows that it's got a butterfly but the butterfly was such a letdown guys. What did I do with it? I probably just tossed it. Oh, here it is. It was such a letdown. Boom. That's it. I mean, you put it the wrong way, it looks like something unidentifiable. Super easy. You may have to give the black two coats. Um, if you're using your liquid um, acrylics, the fluid acrylics, one coat is enough, but I didn't even, honestly, I didn't even think about it. And I'm pretty sure I don't have yellow fluid acrylics. So I am a cool person. Meaning, oh no, dear God, no, I'm not cool. I'm attracted to cool colors is what I meant. Um, love bees. I have a large stuffed bee. I, I dress him. <laughs> <laughs> Santa suit. Oh my gosh, Sherry, I might have to see that photo. You want to pop that in here? I mean, unless you don't want to share, but you know, you opened up that door. <laughs> so we had an adult art box last year um, that was bee themed. And I think that was the art box. We had more people join 
than ever. Now our art box um, is two years old and let's see, what was the one we just, not the one we're doing now, but the winter one? Oh, that was the second one that was so popular that we had the most people join. But the bees blow me away. People love the bees. Love, love, love the bees. So I was thinking I'd probably do white for the inside of the wings. Is that wrong? And then I'd use some glitter. Ah, oh, white might be wrong. <coughs> Sherry, if you're still there, would you paint your inside of your wings? Hey, hey, Dawn. How are you, honey? Um, would you paint the inside of your wings a white and then use that translucent glitz, the, um, the super white glitter we have? Or would you go super light blue or super light teal? I would still use the glitter, I think. What would you use? So Sherry, I'm asking you, girl. Perfect. Because I don't, you know, I do have a bee right here in front of me. And it does have white wings. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so I do have, this is an insert for one of the trucks we have. So this one is white. I could do white. Teal. She I'm doing teal. Okay, teal it is. I'm going to go a little lighter on the teal. I have Bahama blue. And then I can use, and that would be great because it's going to pull the colors. I would have never thought of that. It's going to pull the colors from the, um, the hat and the boots. Look at you go. I love teal too, girl. I know you did the, uh, that um, hot cocoa tear tray out of teal. Nice. Most people use like this light blue. I think you did teal. You were loving on the teal. Me too. You know why I'm here? I might like just race. I'm sure I'm gonna do it in, in paint also. Like white paint, but I'm thinking I might just race a little decorative. Ta-da. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm going to quickly dry. No, I'm not because it's not plugged in. All right, we are gonna go in with some yellow. This is uh, primary yellow from Deco, right? Yeah, Deco Art. It's a deep yellow. It's not, it's not primary. It says it is, but it's not. It's deeper. It's not a lighter yellow. So it's not super light. It's not super bright. I feel like Dr. Seuss. Okay, let's be smart. Kelly Sue, let's be smart. Put a base coat. I'm gonna base coat it in gray because the yellow is so see-through. So I have a very, very light gray. I'm gonna base coat the yellow because I don't feel like sitting here painting it 20 hours. It's a celebratory day. I wanna get to the, I guess it's too early to start on champagne. I wanna get to the snacks. I'm gonna go down and make some homemade French onion dip. Which is fabulous. No box dips here. And since that gray haired lady at, um, no, it's called blue haired, sorry, I screwed up. At um, Safeway gave John just a little extra love with the crab legs, I think we'll have artichoke crab legs. So what do you guys do for New Year's Eve? This is kind of sad. We've always fondued. Hey, hey. Oh, Hazel's here. Hey, girl. Hey, you know. We'll get you a bed up here. Um, we've always fondue, but there's just me, John, and Sabrina this year. Hi. <coughs> so we were like, seafood and sushi. Why not? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, the legs. On the photo, they are teal and pink. I'm not a pink fan. And I feel like I did a lot of pink for Valentine's. I mean, I, I don't mind that dusty rose pink mixed with silver. 
that one's pretty good because it's not super pink. Oh, I got that silly light right there. Oh. Um, but I was thinking um, about making the echinacea kind of a nice bright flower, um, like purple. Lobster tails. <laughs> Sherry, I'm going to drive around and I'll be able to find your house. That's so funny. Love it. So it's magenta, or I'm sorry, it's teal and aqua brown. I love, oh, we talked about that. I love that chocolate brown. And then when it was chocolate brown, green and teal, that one year, and, and dots, the big dots. Oh, I was kind of in hog heaven then. Okay, so I'm going to do, the first one should be the alternate color. Then it will be the teal, then alternate, then teal. Alternate color, and I kept them in order, so we're good, and then alternate color. Okay, boom. Hello, spring. So on my photo, it's at the bottom. I considered moving it up, you know, because when you put this on your porch, you typically put plants around, and I thought, oh, would you be able to see it? But then I didn't really like it um, in the middle. So I'm thinking, I have some cream on my plate. Hold on a second, let me use that yellow for my echinacea center. I should have primed it first, boo. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the uh sorry the gray. I'm gonna grab the gray and prime it. I have a little yellow mixed in. It's the most nauseating color you've ever seen, but it will help us cover up the um the wood grain. It's really light gray. So why not use white? Gray is just a better primer. Just better at covering up stuff underneath. My favorite flower, I would do an orange, but pale. Oh, okay. I love orange as an accent with teal, but that is me. You know what? I love orange too. I love orange too. I love orange too. And I have copper and I have, oh, I've got some amazing, uh, I probably don't need to, I probably don't need to glitter up the echinacea, but I probably will. Um, you're right. I don't love, <coughs> excuse me. I don't love purple. It's not my, it's not my color. Um, orange. I have a bright, and it's called bright orange here. I also have Har that Harley Davidson is what I call it. It's called something else. Um, glitter. And it's my absolute favorite glitter. What in the world is it? Are you kidding me? Probably out in my car with, nope, yep, it's right here. Okay, so I have these three. I'm gonna throw this one out. I mean, you can't see it, but it's super bright. It like hurts my eyes. I have these two colors. This one is actually better probably. This one is that Harley Davidson orange that I love, but it's probably too dark for my board. So I'm gonna go with pumpkin. Recollections, Extra Fine Glitter, Pumpkin. Oh yeah, it's going on there. It is going on. Numbering, I'm doing it. <coughs> so I do, I love the Echinaceas too, but you know what, daisies and Gerber daisies are my favorite. So I'm gonna add a little bit of brown to my orange, to my very bright orange. Oh, that's pretty slim pickings, guys. I have some water. I'm going to cool it down just a little bit. I have this one. This one actually would have been okay. Warm Sunset. How about one? Because it's a little duller. Warm Sunset from Deco Art Americana. Warm Sunset. Or you can mix some silver and some brown in with just a bright one. And I think that's gonna really, really look good. Love it. Me too, Cher. 
Okay, I could use a sponge and just get it done, but I need multiple coats. So, since I'm so hungry, I got myself a filbert, which has a lot of bristles. I have a lot on my desk right now. I'm looking up at the, the camera, and I gotta say, it's making my OCD, I have a little bit of it, a little crazy right now. So, and I never know because I'm just pulling things out and I'm focused. That it's gonna look like, the desk is gonna look like this until I look up at the camera and I'm like, oh no, there's so much on my desk. So this Deco Art Americana has a really good primer in it. And that's why when you mix these craft colors, they don't necessarily make the color you think, they tend to make a dingier version of the color you were expecting. And that's okay. But I'm just saying, in this instance, it's giving us a great base. I'd probably still paint it two times. There you go. And if you decide you have to have this project, I'm gonna put the Valentine gnome on the back, by the way. We'll paint him soon. If you decide you have to have this project today only, or, or the last day today is the 20% off, um, our blizzard sale. It's so cute. And then I will, we upload this video to um, our YouTube channel. And I do try, I'm trying to go in on the purchase page on our website. And at the bottom, I'm trying, it's just hard to share the link there. That way you don't have to go searching. But honestly, I've only done it with a couple. And maybe, let's hear what you think. Does that make it easier for you to find the video? To me, I think it would. Like you would just go back into the website, go to the product that you bought. And if I have a video, it will be right there, a video link. Um, it's just time consuming because we have a lot. A couple hundred videos. We've lost a few over the years. Oh, what brush am I using, Amanda? Right now I'm using a Filbert. It is actually, I still have the, the tag on it. It's a Filbert, it's a level two, meaning it's not a beginner. It's a Princeton Select 8, number eight. Um, and it's from Michaels. And oh, I would only buy it if it's buy one, get one half. I use it a lot for canvas. Um, as they get kind of broken down, then I put them in my wood bucket. I do love a filbert because it's a lot of bristles and it has this rounded edge. A lot of times companies also call them like cat tongue bristle or um, paintbrushes. But um, I just love the filbert. It's so versatile and it just holds the paint. All right, so I recommend you go in, paint it two times, have fun with that. Okay, I'm gonna slightly clean out my brush Go in and paint my Echinacea Center. We're getting rid of that. You're not getting the butterfly. Instead, you're gonna get the bee. The butterfly was, had to go. It's still so light. But just get in there and give it a couple coats. Leave a little hair behind, that's okay. We're shutters, apparently. Um, just You're just gonna have to plan on giving it the base coat and then giving it one or two coats. Now it is fairly bright, just as I'm looking on the camera. It's fairly bright, but a lot of that is because the light is shining right on it. Like if I take the light off, I'm waiting. Yeah, you can see it's not as bright. It's the light reflecting off the wet paint. <coughs> There's a lot you can do to dull it down, but the, the biggest thing is you can put a drop of brown in. And I've got a little right here. Let me see what I make. You end up making raw sienna. So that's too thick for me. I'm looking for something just a little lovelier, just a little bit. You can pick up some if you want. 
let it dry, have some fun. Painting is relaxing, and what's so great about painting the DIY is you're painting joyful things for your home. At least that's the way I look at it. So even though a lot of times I'm asking you for what you think we should do, I wouldn't do a color if I didn't love it. Okay, I made this color apparently a while ago. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Craft Smart Green. I think it just, it's called Verde. But to me, it's too bright for what we're doing here. So I'm of course going to add some silver. I may add some more blue to it. So mix up your own colors, have fun. If it sucks, you're only out scents, guys. Keep some good colors on hand. And then quick question, we have been asked to have a, put a spot somewhere with our favorite things. I'm not looking for affiliate fees that I would collect from anybody. I am just looking to provide you to answer questions like what are the paints I use? And you probably have ones you prefer yourself. Um, what do you think should we do just like a page on our website? And they would have a link to, I guess, I guess they would, to um, Michael's or I don't buy a lot from Amazon. Oh, I buy a lot from Amazon, but just not paints. Um, there's a lot of people just getting started and maybe this doesn't relate to you, but there's a lot of people just getting started and they really want to use what I use. Same paint, same everything. Where would be the best place for somebody to find that information? Would that be on our website, like a little, a little tab that says, I don't know, things we use, our favorite things, projects, I don't know, paints. There you go. You can order them for me, but they're just, they're more economical and you can do more if you just bought your own paints and mix your own. So anyway, that would be great. Okay, Amanda says, yeah. Okay, so I think that's Amanda. My hair is really gross in the back. Um, I think Amanda's saying that, yes, putting that information on the website, which just takes time. It takes time, guys. Um, would be helpful for everybody and that's why I want to do is make it so easy for you. I don't want you to feel like you're on your own. Um, I want you to be like, here's your kit. If we have a video, here you go. Or here's another video that would get you part of the way there. And also here's the supplies we used. Um, I I'll provide them, but it's just more economical for you guys to do it yourself. Okay. So I don't know that I want to do orange on his legs. So I may do the purple now. Okay, so the photo shows a more teal um, branch than what I made, branch, stem. Um, I don't care, I'm doing my own thing. This is my thing now, it's my groove. So now I think I'll just do a light purple, and if I hate it, you guys, I'll just go in something else. But purple and orange and yellows, they all work really well together too. So if you're not familiar with the color wheel, we need to get familiar with the color wheel and I'll help you. Oh, thanks Amanda, we're trying, we're trying. It's a little, it was a little eye opener going from just our localized people to national. And I don't know what happened after July, something kind of went boom. And um, you know, those people all had such great ideas too. And um, the localized people, they were already painting with me at paint parties or, you know, had known me for years. And so they knew, I think I really like the purple and the teal. Um, they knew how to do stuff. And so I never really thought like, oh, there would be somebody out there struggling. But there was a couple people. And I just don't want that happening. I want painting to bring joy and satisfaction to everybody. I'm just going in here. I said I'd do cream, but cream gets so dirty. And it's at the bottom. It gets so dirty. You know, I should have done a hello in orange. But it's just paint and I can't, I can do it. I can still do it. 
So we're gonna stick around here for just a second and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make the glitter glue. It's gonna be fantastic. We did Sherry's idea of the orange echinacea flower, but there's also white, purple, that pinkish color, that one's a fun color, pinkish color. Hmm, I wonder if I'm missing any. Okay, so just so you know, um, the deco art, this is lavender. Okay, it comes in a jar. Oh, here's the jar, lavender. It is a little see-throughy, so plan on brushing through twice, definitely. If you're sponging this on, quite a bit. You need a quite a bit of sponging. Okay, so Hello Spring. I can kind of wish I would have done Hello in orange and the spring in purple. I'm gonna do this spring in orange. We're gonna do it. We're going in. So what I have in my color wheel right now is I have some complementary colors and so they're near each other on the color wheel. And then I have some, did I say that right? Well, I have contrasty color, meaning they're across each other from the color wheel and that makes it pop. And then I have some, um, oh my gosh, analogous, that's it, analogous colors. And analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel, so they're friends. Um, they don't necessarily pop from each other. They're very soothing. And so examples of that would be the green, the teal, the purple. They're near each other on the color wheel. And then the colors that are gonna really pop are across the color, or uh, I'm sorry, across the wheel from those colors, which would be the yellow and the orange. So I do, sometimes when I get stuck, I still bring out the old color wheel. It's just a 12 part color wheel. It's pretty easy to use. And then the variations of those colors would still have the same role. Like, Magenta, it's red, also has some blue in it. Fun. Yep, this is crazy colors. I'm loving it though. They all go together. I didn't bring out Christmas red, that would be kind of interesting. Kind of fun. And then when I put it together, if I want to make changes, I can do that. You want to bring joy to your house. Make a happy house. I personally do that through art. I don't know what boat, what boat you guys are in. Um, Sherry's loving it. Hey, Lord. Mother Nature took down our beach. Oh, no. Sherry, can you grow peaches here? You turned it into a gnome house. Sweet. One of our first, once we start Monday nights again, is going to be, well, not the first. Um, the first one is a Valentine's thing. But coming up, we have some gnome houses. Because I love them. Hey, Lori, what's up, girl? Happy New Year. Happy New Oh, you did it to me first. You beat me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I hope you're having fun with those grandbabies. I bet you're babysitting tonight. Me too. Babysitting, babysitting. And it's just gonna be me, Sabrina, and John. Um, Sean's gonna show up later with his buddy, but they always go just go downstairs. And so we'd normally do a fondue that would be up all night and some puzzles. And we're not, we're lame now. We're very lame. All right, so I'm gonna pop these together. Oh, I forgot the, the B. This is just a round paintbrush. It holds a lot of paint. It's very good for doing brush strokes, um, for filling in. You guys, I got purple on his nose. I was doing really well too. Then I started talking to Lori. <gasps> 
You know I love you, Lori. Trying to get over a cold. Oh, me too. I had I got one like right before Thanksgiving, and I still that's why you're hearing me cough. <laughs> still got the crud, and I'm so sorry that you have that, hun. Hold on, I'm just giving him a little bit more love, covering up that purple speck. Um, I do like to do a. I need to wait to see what direction he goes. Okay, so the B, the B, the B. I gotta just do the yellow parts of the B, and then I made the wings teal. Sherry said teal, I'm teal. I'm probably gonna bring in some glitter, maybe. Oh, this paintbrush sucks. I'm gonna have to bring in a fine one. Hey, you know what I did buy off of Amazon? Is, oh, they're right here. These are nail brushes, like nail designer brushes, and they're really tiny, and they were three bucks. So basically, a man, a dollar each. They're really tiny, fine detail. Do you get paint on me? Fine detail brushes, um, but I'm not gonna cry if it goes, you know, gets bad, it was a dollar. And I start racing, so mine doesn't look so good once I start racing. Morning, Sabrina. Looks like Princess woke up. I did go a little outside my lines. It's okay, when they dry, I'm just gonna come in with my fine detail brush and black and just clean it up a little bit. No problem. No problem whatsoever. That could get another coat, I'm not doing it. This could use some glitter, that's fine. Let's talk about glitter glue for the Echinacea. And then we'll put this bad boy together. Super excited. Okay, glitter glue. It comprises, uh, and I know other people are now doing it and that's great, good for them. Um, it comprises of a couple different ingredients, all of which are really inexpensive. Um, a white, I'm sorry, a clear craft glue. I tend to use Craft Smart, but they changed, hold on a second. Probably shouldn't have just, I should have just done that. Um, they changed and they're only making it available in the half gallon. It's pretty large. If you use your coupon, you get it for like nine bucks. But unless you're buying these supplies and reselling them at a mass quantity or bulk, I just go get your Elmer's clear glue, it works. I'm sorry, I'm looking for the, put it away. I was cleaning up. Okay, once again, it's Recollections Pumpkin. Pumpkin, look at that. It's so beautiful. If you don't like glitter, it's okay. Sherry, happy um, New Year's to you too. So I always just punch down the sealer and so it makes it hard for me to use it. Okay, it's pretty simple. We got the glue. We have the glitter, and then you just need a couple drops of water um, so that you can apply it. So the fluidity is an issue sometimes. I like a round brushed, and I just have one. You know what? Nope. I'm going to use my big one. A big one. Okay. I wonder if you guys can see that. Can you see how gorgeous that is? And I would suggest I probably put a little bit too much water, which will extend drying time. It becomes quite the pain. So I'm gonna add a little bit more glue, a little bit more glitter. I always bring these to my paint parties and I think the ladies would kick my butts if I forgot them at home. Hey, Donna, how you doing, girl? 
Yep, I'm loving that. So this is pumpkin on the warm sunset from Deco Art. It's lovely. Oh my gosh. Yes. Taking the healing magical properties of Echinacea and making them extra magical with the glitter. Sorry, I was an advertising major in high in college. I didn't I didn't follow up because I was pregnant with Sabrina or Sydney. I was 33, pregnant with Sabrina or Sydney. Oh my gosh. And uh, I loved, loved all the courses. But I came out of it a little sad and with the realization that advertising was meant for a much younger person than me because all of those ladies and fellas, um, the only time they could really or felt like they really wanted to meet was 12 to 4 in the morning. I had a family and I just realized that, you know, yeah, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. I'm not going to come up with the next big ad. That's okay. Those are beautiful. I don't think you can see, but they are beautiful. I'm gonna bring them. Hey girl. So they'll dry. Let me see what, if I can see it. They'll dry. The shine will go away, but if you want, and then you know, let it dry, reapply, make yourself happy. The shine will go away if you want it super shiny to go on your board. I would go ahead and pick up a triple thick clear glaze spray. Oh my gosh, that light is driving me nuts. Here we go, from Krylon. Um, it tends to amber if you put it on white. It would, okay, it would amber anyway, which turns yellow. It's not an issue, let's, let's face it, it wouldn't be an issue for this project. All right, let's put it together. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna do it. The yellow needs one more coat. Oop, that was my bad. So I'll put it all together and then we'll do some detail work. How exciting. What's happening? It's happening. All right. I love the board. It's got a little shimmer because we put silver paint in the brown and black. Let me see. Let me, let me get rid of some stuff. And then I'm coming down. Time, right? Coming down. I'm coming up, so you better get this party started. Perfect song for today. Let's get this party started. Okay, can you see? I'm trying to see if you can see the bottom. Well, no, I went too far. Darn it. Yes, we're good. All right, here we go. So what am I gonna use? I'll probably use, my, from the Dollar Tree, my super glue wood glue because it grips pretty fast. However, sometimes because the pieces are bigger and the wood could be warpy, the type on quick and thick is a really good choice too. So I haven't used it for a couple of weeks, so this is incredibly satisfying by the way. <laughs> Okay, let's get ahead on this. Okay, so I'm gonna start laying some stuff out, leaving some room. Some of this isn't quite dry. Okay, so the Hello Spring. Okay. So, and this designer believes in negative space, meaning the space between gives you the shading. I might have that backwards. It's been a while since I taught art. art. All right, here we go. Nope, it goes this way. Ta-da! Stinking cute already, right guys? Okay. I already know I don't have them high enough because he needs his feet, his legs, and the hello spring. We're moving up. We're gonna center it and then we'll glue. So the hello is easy peasy because it's one. The font's great, it's nice and thick. It shouldn't break, but just be careful 
when you're taking off the tape. You guys have seen that in action. Oop, legs. <laughs> Hello, spring. So we chose the color palette of teal, purple, and orange. A little bit of sherry, a little bit of me, S-P-R. Always scared to death when I'm gonna spell something wrong. And it'll be forever immortalized on Facebook and our YouTube channel. Nice big font. You can jog. So how wide is this board? Okay, when you buy it, you're buying a 12 inch board, but it's really um, 11 and a half inches, something like that. Okay, you can jog. I can make John have these words be a little bit smaller. Let me know what you think. I jogged the I into the L. I kind of liked that. But we can make adjustments, but we would do it for everybody moving forward. Okay, so this is how I screwed up. <coughs> Excuse me, take a drink of water really quick. I put his legs out like that, he was very bow-legged, but we're gonna put his legs up into his beard. So on one side there's four pieces and on the other side there's three. And they're just on my tape, <coughs> excuse me. And I laid them out accordingly, so we're good. <coughs> excuse me. later if I can't stop coughing. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I already got some on there. <coughs> got a little purple. Got on the teal. Okay, this attaches right by his hat. Okay, so this is 60 inches. Oh, good Lord, did I paint the wrong side? I did, I painted the wrong side, y'all. And that's okay, it'll be green, it'll be this color. <laughs> Figures, do as I do, or say it, not as I do, right? Okay. All right, so the echinacea flower. I did that right. And the petals droop down. So I have them organized, I think, the way they should be. Okay, so this is this here. Look around there. Uh, should be a little, a little slanty. Let's get them out and then I can decide what direction they go. That one goes over here. Okay, that's rounded. Oh good, I stopped coughing. That's rounded. This one. Is very rounded, so it's this one. Okay. I am way too high. This one just connects at the bottom. And I got one more. Oh, I got two more. Good grief. So 
Where's this one go? It's pretty big too. It goes at the right side. It is the right side. It goes right here. online. <laughs> I spot. It's so funny on the back of my hair. Okay. It's cracking me up. Okay. So then I just, I have the bee. I haven't finished the bee. A couple things he could be, he could have the bee on his hat, right? If you wanted to, I haven't finished the bee. I'm going to put some glitter on the teal wings. It'll make it a little more transparent. So I can do it through there. Remember, I gotta paint the right side. It's my green and silver. I'm gonna make that. Um, you could put the bee up here, a little off, or you could put the bee here. Where do you guys think the bee should go? The hat or by the flower? And maybe you think the bee's too big. I just said, John, cut me a bee because the butterfly is not gonna make it. So, put me in coach. Nope, I'm not gonna make it. You know, that doesn't look too bad. I don't know what you think about that. Okay, so he can move down a little bit, if you think we should. It's just such a happy, happy project. I think he, he can move down a little bit, but I can do that when I'm gluing also. Now that I have him in place, before I glue him, I like to do some little swiggles and squirrels, squirrels, ha ha. And I typically would use a paintbrush or I would use my um, tulip, it's like fabric paint in a squeeze tube. It just depends what you're looking for. But what I would do is thin the paint down. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab, mm, let's do white. I guess we're gonna do white. I'm grab some white. Blue acrylic because the pigment's delightful. It's great. Um, I'm, it's a large project, so I think I'm gonna pick a little bit bigger paintbrush. Might, mm, here we go, you can see it. My paintbrush is just a little bit bigger than what I normally use. And I'm gonna get some white. Oh, I'm sorry, some water. I'm getting some water. It's a little dingy, it's okay. Helps the white be so well white. Okay, so yes, I would go do a little here, do a little here. I'd flip my paintbrush upside down. I'd do some dots. There you go, I may or may not put some in the lettering. Put a little there. Definitely the hat needs to be, the hat needs some love. Don't press hard, because if you're gonna press hard, you're gonna get a really big line. Flip my paintbrush over, I'm just dipping and dotting a little bit here and there. If the white seems too, too much, we'll bring in some you know, like black bracing on it. Ooh. So I don't outline everything. I just put little dashes and dots. Just kind of have fun with it. I hear a lot of my cake parties, can you do this one step for me? Cause I just don't get where I'm supposed to put it. And I would just look at a couple photos and copy their work until you find your own little style. It's coming together. Okay, I wanna get some brown on a skinny paintbrush. Do I have any brown left? And let's just do it with this. 
I like to put a little frown in his nose and a dot or two. To give it a little bit of fun, fun stuff. I'm gonna paint my stem, fix it up. The bee needs some love. I'm gonna flip to a smaller paintbrush. And I think the echinacea needs a little love too. Tip and dot. I don't know that I do say I'm not going to do much to the petals because they have that great glitter on. I'm lying, folks. I am. I totally will. But I want the glitter to dry first. And you should see the final project when I post the photo. So So just kind of some cutie designs to make him stick out. I still want to glitter his um, wings. Oopsie. I left out there. All right, so basically that is my Gnome Hello Spring porch leaner. Yep, I'm looking at this and these need a little love in order to stand out. So what do I mean by that? You can do it with the tulip also. Have them stand out a little bit. Hello, Penny. I'm not outlining completely. I hate it. I'll just paint over it. It's okay. my paintbrush over, put a couple dots. These aren't glued in place, so. Helps it just pop just a little bit. If it's obnoxious, if it's not your style, well then just don't do it. Over the eyes. Oh, hey, Wendy. Wendy, your project was so great. Thank you for letting me share it with everybody today. So great. I always worry, you know, like when I do the art box, when I put it out, like, oh, I really liked it, you know, and then I'm like, self-doubt, like, well, the ladies like it too. And that's why I like to share before we, we send them out, you know, like, this is what we're doing. And um, I'm so happy that everyone's is coming out fantastic. Just loved yours so much. I appreciate it. Okay, one, two, three. See how this just helps the letters just rise to the surface. I didn't didn't take me long. I'm not doing everything. Off. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's art. We're making ourselves very happy with this project. Very, very happy. So hopefully thumbs up and hearts and you love it. I'm gonna fix my <laughs> my gosh, my stem and glitter up my wings and then glue them together and I'll take a photo and post it. So thanks for joining me today. Happy, happy. Oh, I'm so when you just saw your comment. Thanks. I'm um, happy, happy New Year's. We hope it's full of joy and happiness in your family. So from us to you, bye guys.